What is up guys, Julian here, the French winemaking guy who makes wine videos here on YouTube, yes, wine videos. And this is just a quick video as part of my What the Fruit Is series where we explain wine terms in short clips. Today we're going to be looking at a wine term that you may have heard quite commonly said by wine connoisseurs and producers, which is the term cuvee. You may know what is a cuvee, but do you know why it's called this way? We'll cover this too, so make sure to stay tuned. But let's start with what is a cuvee. So a cuvee is essentially an individual wine, or you could say an individual bottling. A wine producer is going to have a broad range of different wines, a cabernet, reserve cabernet, a few single vineyard caps, for example, a chardonnay, a special selection this, a late harvest that. Each of these wines, these labels, if you wish, is what is what we call a cuvee. This is, if you wish, the French term to designate an individual wine. Of course, some wine producers use the term to name some of their wines, like Salon Champagne, famous wine producer, and it's S Cuvée. You'll have many Cuvée Vieille Vines in Burgundy, for example, to designate wines made from old vines. Paul Roger, the famous champagne maker, makes the Cuvée Winston Churchill, or Domaine de Beaucastel makes the Cuvée Hommage à Jacques Perrin. This is the Chateau Neuf du Pape wine, of course. The term is particularly popular among champagne makers. So why the term Cuvée to designate a wine, you may wonder. You have to know that the French word for tank, as in a wine tank used in a winery, this is called a cuve. So a cuvee is essentially what fits in a tank at a winery. Generally, wine producers pick grapes from a vineyard or two and put the resulting wines in a tank. One vineyard or several similar vineyards go into one tank. If we talk about a single vineyard wine, well, the content of the single vineyard tank becomes a wine and therefore a cuvee. You may argue that sometimes wineries blend together different tanks to make one single vineyard or single wine, I should say, right? Yes, indeed, but when they do that, they blend the content of different tanks, each of which contains wine from a vineyard into one single tank to form what we call a blend. Think of a reserve cabernet, for example. A winery is going to select a few of the best cab vineyards, blend them together to make their reserve cabernet cuvee. We therefore, at some stage in the winemaking process, generally just before bottling, end up with one tank of blended wine being bottled on its own, therefore forming a cuvee. A cuvee, at least the term, literally means a tank full of wine. Of course, this is the traditional meaning of it. From a time when wineries didn't play around with blending hundreds of different tanks together, when one vineyard used to go in one tank and making one individual cuvee, like an old vine cuvee from a small burgundy producer. Times have changed, but the term has remained. Cuvee. If there's any other wine term that you'd like me to explain, let me know in the comments. Hit that like button before you go if you've enjoyed this video and consider subscribing if you like learning more about wine and I will see you soon in the wonderful world of wine. Julien Michael signing off. Cheers. Santé. Bye bye.